Well, I feel like I'm looking up at you. I don't like the idea of the top of my head being cut off, but that's not what we're here to see anyway. I've got a good program for you today, but first I want to say something. I am so pleased with all of the comments and the subscriptions I have received for my video program. It pleases me so much. I'm, I'm in my senior years and there isn't a lot in life that you can do. And this is one of the things I found. In fact, my granddaughter introduced me to YouTube and she said, you need your own program. So here I am. Now, another thing I want to say is the comments you make, if I don't respond to them, keep in mind, I read every one of them. If I can respond and be helpful in any way, I will. But if I don't reply, don't think that I'm not seeing your, your comments because I am. I look forward to reading every one of them. Okay, let's get on with the show. Last one I did, someone said they couldn't hear me. I'm going to try to raise my voice a little bit because I stand far away from the camera. I uh, got up this morning, rain, rain. This happened to be the weekend of the big 127 yard sale. Most of you are probably familiar with it. I've been on several of them. I've been on one where it rained and rained and my daughter and I waded through weeds, wet weeds. We didn't really care. We weren't uh, concerned about our looks. We were having fun. And I think that was the day. Well, I'll tell you this part later because I don't want to I don't want to start too soon. I was trying to come up with a, a show and tell that I thought you would really like. And finally it occurred to me, my sister had called me one day and I said, I, I don't know what to, to do next. And she said, why don't you show them your umbrellas? Well, I thought about it. It seemed that most of my videos, you could see that umbrella stand in the background. So today, I'm going to entertain you with umbrellas. I doubt if there are too many people who collect them. And if they do, I'd sure like to hear from them and see what they've got in their collection. Now, I don't have too many. My daughter has more than I do, and hers are much prettier than mine. But I'm going to keep this simple, and I'm going to have to refer to my notes a little bit. First of all, I'll bet you don't know when the umbrella was invented, I was shocked. 4,000 years ago, would you believe that? It was invented in China, Egypt, and Greece. And the purpose was to use for coverage from the sun. It had nothing to do with rain. So there were different styles of uh, umbrellas. <clears throat> and I'll try to cover them as I pick up what I'm going to show you because I don't have them in any certain order and you know what they say about opening umbrellas in the house bad luck well I'm gonna pretend I have never heard that old saying and we're going to get started I don't know much about umbrellas I just know that I like them and I like the old ones. Now let's start with this. I want you to get a good view now. This is a baked light handle. Can you see it? I'm going to try to get as close as possible. You see the baked light handle? It also has 
Now I'm gonna undo it. Open it up. They're not always easy to open. Now here's what you have. This umbrella has the brass stick with the Bakelite handle. And you can see the spines inside. The light beige. You see the stem comes on out. Now they all need cleaning. And that's one thing I don't know how to do. And I might venture upon someone who does know how to clean the old umbrellas. Because... They get a little dusty along the spines, and I'd like to have them looking nice and new. So this is umbrella number one. It's probably what you would call the, uh, let's see, it would be called the classical. Classical, the average person. And it's the most common. I'll get on with this. I'll close this umbrella, lay it aside, and go to the next one. Now you're going to see all styles. Some you may not like, but I think you will like most of them. Take a look as I open the umbrella. They're really stiff. There we go. Can you see it? Can you get a good view of this? Beautiful. Green and black and blue. Now this one has also a Bakelite handle. I think they call this a stick handle. I'll get closer so you can see it too. It's not very easy to show you. There we go. Now you see this little string? You think that probably just a string from a, a label or something, but it isn't. This string serves a purpose. You can wrap, I'm gonna close it again so I can tell you what I'm talking about. I have to be careful because I'm afraid I'll pinch my fingers. Well, we'll get it eventually. Here we go. Now, this little string was put there for ladies when they need the hand for something else. They put the string across their wrist. Or they can use it to hang the umbrella or storage or so that it can drip dry. So this is another one of your classicals. Now this is a beauty. It also has, several of these have baked light handles. I really like this, you're gonna like it too. Let me get it open. It has a brass stick inside. But look at the pattern. Isn't that beautiful? Take a look. A close look. And see how it curves around the sides. Wouldn't you feel very elegant walking down the street or in Central Park with an umbrella like this shading your face from the sun? It too, I believe, is comes under the classical, the common umbrella. Are you liking this? I hope you are, because I love my umbrellas. There's, I, I found a couple of them in Covington, Kentucky. I also found a couple of them on the 127 yard sale, one of the years that my daughter and I 
we don't go very far. We stay like within a 50 mile radius because uh, we stay right in Kentucky because this is like a four or 500 mile yard sale and it's very, very popular. Okay, here's another one that has the brass stick. Look at it closely. You can see where it's slightly dusty, where it's been dusty, folded up so many years. And I can't tell what the handle is made of. It looks like wood, but it might be plastic. I'll get closer for that too. So we, the lighting isn't right, but you can see a little bit. If you zoom in, you might be able to get a better picture of the handle. So that's another. Um, I've got several now, so you be patient. And you see inside this one, it has the black ribs. These are all in very good condition so far. I'm just very pleased with the condition of them. There came a time when, in, with the classical umbrella, they had, uh, it was called automated making them easy to open with one hand. Because you know sometimes your arms are full and you want to open the umbrella and you can't get it open. Okay, there's a little button right inside here. Barely can see it. It's a white button right here where my finger is. And all I'm going to do is press that button there's your automated umbrella. Isn't that a beauty? It's got a ruffle all the way around. And it too has the brass stick inside. I think the handle is wood. It could be Bakelite, it could be wood, but it's very difficult to tell. But I think Notice the tips. See these tips? You don't usually see something like that on the umbrella. You see those little bitty, those little bitty tips. But you can see these. You see that one right there? Whoops, where's my hand? Right there. Those are nice protection. You can tell this was a quality umbrella. So I can just pull it. All I have to do is just pull it back down and it goes back together. That's what you call the automated umbrella. Here's another one that has a baked light handle and no, I'm thinking it's a wood handle because you can see it all the way down to the umbrella. Look at it, look at this. I love this little, the way this does. It reminds you of a circus tent or the carnival, whichever. This is a rounded handle. And you see the spokes inside, the ribbing is all brass. But it also has a nice curve to it. And it's what I guess you would call it an average size umbrella. I hope you're enjoying what I'm showing you. Because I've wanted to show my umbrellas to someone. And I wish I had my daughter's umbrellas. Hers are just beautiful. Hers has pretty silver and brass handles. Okay. I don't think this is Bakelite. I think this is plastic clear plastic, and I cannot date it. I'm, I'm sure it's not as old as these others. And on the tip here, it has a little cover, a little plastic cover that looks 
same color as the handle. It also has the wood stick. That's what they call it. They call it the stick. This is the stick. It's wood. And here's another handle that you put your hand through or you use it to hang up. This has the gas aluminum spokes. So I'm going to close this umbrella. Oh, there are a few more. It won't take long to do these, but I think you will appreciate what our umbrellas have looked like through the years. I remember when I lived in Tennessee, there was a discount store that would get overstock type things in. And I remember at one time, they got in some of the most beautiful umbrellas I've ever seen. And of course my intention was I've got to have one of those umbrellas. But I think they sold out before I even got to them. So I never got one of those umbrellas and they were just gorgeous. Another Bakelite handle. This one's kind of shimmery. Maybe you can see it, the light. Does the light show it up any? I never can get these things to, well, you can tell it, it's got that orangey look. I'll undo it. This is me, probably your everyday umbrella that you used to, when you went shopping, no matter where you went, this was a good umbrella to have. Here we go. I don't know, that's metal, but it's black. And it has a black ribbing. You see the long stem here. This one could use some cleaning. You can see the, that's just where it is set in one position, folded up, and the dust and dirt has gotten in. And you can see where it has stained it a little bit. I, will, I may find out. And if you know how to get them clean without doing any damage, I'd sure love to know. I hope you're enjoying this. Didn't I say that twice? Well, I'm forgetful. Let me see what else. Let's go with another little black one. Oh, it has a, it also, I don't know if this is wood or if it's baked light. Sometimes you can't even tell when something is baked light or wood by the finish. But I kind of think this is baked light. You see how pointed it is on the end? Here we go. Opened up. I love that pretty plaid. It's amazing. Whoa. This is a hard one to open. Well, I'm not able to get it pushed all the way, but you can see what it looks like. It's amazing what plaid can look like when you put it on an umbrella. Because this is a pretty one, too. In the classical. Um, I'm going to show you this dainty little black one. Now it has a chain instead of a, a string or a rope. And I want you to see how cute this is. just see Jane Seymour and somewhere in time with this over her head walking through the park. I'll bend down so I can get that look. <gasps> there. Isn't that pretty? Just a plain little black 
umbrella and it has a tag inside. I think this is the one I was able to read and it said made in Japan. So that dates it. It's your back for the 40s. And so sweet. Let's see. Another black umbrella. See the handle. This is the one I want you to see the handle. Get over here. Isn't that pretty? Pretty brass handle. Now I'm gonna see what's inside. Only had one that's automated. Well, I'm not sure I'm gonna get it open. Got it open before, so I know it'll open. Just want to be stubborn. I think it's gonna stay stubborn. So we just won't open that. We'll just leave it alone. Oh, this is a biggie. It's got a wooden handle for sure. Solid wood. The long tip and it has the piece, metal piece on the end, protecting the tip. I really like this umbrella too. And it has those, the caps, the caps, see those caps? Can you see them? You don't see too many umbrellas that have things like that on them. Okay, here we go. Now, tell me you don't like that. I think it's a beauty. I don't use my umbrella because I'm afraid I'll leave them somewhere and I'd just be heartbroken if I walked off and left my pretty umbrella. But isn't that gorgeous? It, it's just amazing how you can put the fabric together. And they had to have a finish on them. Now, I'm trying to remember. Well, I lost my picture. Okay. Um, I'm going to see. Uh, forget it. They used some kind of wax and a varnish type finish to waterproof the umbrellas. That's back when they were being made in China and Egypt and Greece and those other countries. That protected the umbrella, kept it waterproof. Now, I get this one closed. It's a nice big one. How many years bad luck am I going to have? Well, I'm not too concerned about that. All I want is for the rain to go away and these people in eastern Kentucky to be able to come back to a normal life sometime soon. I hope you, I hope you have been keeping up with the flooding in eastern Kentucky. It, it's such a sad situation and the deaths that are involved. And the people have just been so generous. It shows you the heart of the people when you come into a crisis like that. And I can't help but cry every time I see something in regard to the flooding. I hope you'll keep those people in your prayers. Now here's my number one umbrella. See, it has a little fabric cover that covers the end of the tip. This also is Bakelite and it's got a different curve to the handle. 
Most of them are rounded. This one kind of squares off. Now I bought this one in Covington, Kentucky in an antique shop. And I think I paid about $4 for it. I, don't, I, I didn't pay more than $4 for any of my umbrellas. And two of them I bought at the uh, 127 yard sale. I paid $2 each for them. So I was real thrilled when I found those. Now you watch this. Watch this umbrella open. You see it? You see how the, you see the ruffle? The little ruffle on the edges? Now I'm going to turn it for you. Take another look. This is the inside of the umbrella. When I bought it, I had no idea that it had this colorful floral lining to it. And I got home and I was just thrilled. You see it? Isn't that a beauty? You can see how the, it, the edges ruffle down. So this is my favorite umbrella. Close it. Oh, it's pinched my finger. There is one more. Let's come up to the 21st century. We haven't seen much of the umbrellas they make today. Most of them are about 60 inches wide. Now, for that matter, the golf umbrellas were 60 and 70 inches across and they were made with a fiberglass to make them very lightweight, but it was to protect the golfers from the sun and the wind, and they were lightweight. We've come up to the 21st century, and we don't give too much thought about the beauty of an umbrella anymore. It's the convenience. Are we going to be sitting at a ball game and it's pouring the rain? We want a huge striped umbrella with the sports colors of the school. I'm going to show you one. The little, the little band around it is Velcro. They didn't have any Velcro back in those days. But this one is Velcro. Now the reason I'm showing you this one was because this is one I bought in an emergency. It, I was out with my friend. It started pouring the rain and we stepped inside the first little newsstand we saw. They always have umbrellas. And this is the one I bought. So this is the way your 21st century umbrella is made. See how you pull that out? You see how that how that opens up? You push and you push and you open up your umbrella and here's what you've got. Now, I had forgotten I had this umbrella. I was in London, England. See, you see the name right there? London. You see all London's written all the way around it. There. See in red. Well, this is another one of my little travel keepsakes. I don't use this umbrella for every day because it's a special umbrella. It represents one of the trips I took. And I can remember the situation when the umbrella was bought. So I just thought you'd want to see a sample of today's style umbrella and how it closed, opens and closes and then you just push it back down into the handle. Woo. That's it. That's my story about the umbrella. Oh, one last thing. 
I sure do not want to forget this. I've got to show you this. This is a very heavy item. Can you see it? This is an umbrella stand I've had for 50 years. My daughter, every now and then, walks through, she points, and she says, that come to me. So, I know she wants this umbrella stand. I went to uh, an estate sale. Uh, the lady I knew, she was taking care of her mother's estate. And she had several things that I liked. Her prices were very reasonable. And I went in her house, and sitting over in the corner was this stand. Now, if you can see it, let's see if I can aim it towards the light. And there you go. You get a better view. See the beautiful basket. This kind of has a French look to me, and it is very heavy. And I've been very careful with it for, through the years. I don't want to drop it off the table today. So, uh, I saw it sitting in the corner, and I said to the lady, are you selling that? I just pointed to it, and she said, well, I hadn't planned to, but I guess I could. And I said, don't let me talk you into selling it if it was your mother's. But if you do want to sell it, I would like to buy it. She said, okay, I'll let you have it. Five dollars. And it's one of my favorite things. It holds all of my antique umbrellas. And it's amazing how you come across some things that you've saved for years and you didn't realize when you bought them that they would come to mean so much to you. But this does to me because it, it's almost like it was a personal thing. So this just definitely will go to my daughter when I'm gone. I hope you've enjoyed this today. I'm glad you're here because it kind of uh, relieved me from having to stare at rain hitting the window and the gloom. And I just hate that the, uh, the 127 yard sale is being disrupted with this wet weather. But I'm telling you, the time I went through the rain, they just let it rain. They didn't let it stop them from selling their, their items. And it's a fun thing to do. If you ever get the chance, if you've never done it before, just go, take a few dollars, make sure you go with cash. And you might even take a few little garbage bags or boxes or something in case you find a selection of things and you need uh, something to put them in. Take your picnic lunch with you, or you might find a little local cafe on that 127 yard sale. My daughter and I found the restaurant. Oh, gee. It was cafeteria style, but it had everything chicken and dumplings, dressing, oh, cornbread, biscuits, rolls, oh, you, you name it, they had it. And it was wonderful. So I'm gonna kick out now. And I hope you were able to hear me. I'm gonna have to make a note of that because sometimes I forget that my voice might not carry. So thanks for being with me today. I've enjoyed this. Well, I'll tell you what, looks like I'm not gone yet. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I know what's wrong, it's not on.